Hi, friends. Let's talk a little bit about how we can deal with acid reflux or heartburn with melatonin. In this lecture, I will, co I will cover how it works, who benefit doses and possible side effects, and also how to overcome those side effects. Medical community does know a lot about melatonin production from pineal gland, and it gets produced during the night when there is no sunlight coming through the eyes and melatonin will put us to sleep. However, during the daylight, when sunlight hits the, the eye, the same pineal gland will convert, uh, will pro produce serotonin, which is antidepressant and will keep us uh, awake and uh, happy. However, we know now for, for about maybe 10 years that about 90% of body serotonin is produced in the digestive tract. And a lot of melatonin is also made right there and used in the digestive tract. This information come, uh, came from uh, PubMed. Now, why is that I uh, supposed to talk about supplements of melatonin and suddenly I'm talking about the serotonin? And the answer is simple, because both are made from the tryptophan in the digestive tract. Tryptophan is amino acid that comes from the food and it comes in the digestive tract and locally it gets converted through several chemical pathways to serotonin, and then into melatonin. And both have drastic or substantial effect on our digestive tract. Let's go and talk about what the effect we can expect from those two. Here, I already pre-draw for us a picture of our digestive tract. Here is our mouth with the teeth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and we go to the bathroom right here. I want to talk about sympathetic uh, nervous system. The nerve comes from the brain and it runs parallel to the digestive tract and will have its effect on our digestive tract. When sympathetic system get activated and it's get activated when we are under the stress, when we are working hard or watching TV, it does several things to us. It decreases motility of digestive tract. Motility. It's a number two, it will decrease production of hydrochloric acid. As a result, as we produce less hydrochloric acid in the stomach, the food that comes here will stay for hours, will become rotten, and eventually some of that food may go actually through the lower esophageal sphincter into its esophagus and create the inflammation. Um, and number three, will decrease production of mucus. Mucus produced in the stomach to protect the lining of the stomach from the damaging effect of hydrochloric acid. When there is no mucus, inflammation starts here and eventually inflammation also can go into esophagus and cause acid reflux. As you know, I always talk about that. The digestive tract is not a pile of separate organs. Everything is connected stomach to esophagus to small intestine and to large intestine. Now, parasympathetic system does the opposite. So it will increase Motility, increased production of mucus, and increased production and um, uh, increased production of hydrochloric acid. Now, tryptophan come here and get converted to serotonin. Let's talk about what serotonin does. Serotonin. Actually, it will. Um, increase blood flow, it's, it will act as a hormone locally. What that means when there is more blood flows into the area means increased production of HCL and mucus. And we want this mucus because we want to protect the stomach from damaging effect of hydrochloric. We also need the hydrochloric acid because we need to break down the food and, and move the food down. It also um, will act as a growth hormone and will repair the liver. I will write liver repair. Okay, so you can see that it's actually will over, 
will act a little bit like a parasympathetic system. Now, serotonin get converted into melatonin. Melatonin. And melatonin is a will increase production of prostaglandins, prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin I2, which is anti-inflammatory. The whole medicine in the last 20 years about inflammation, how much inflammation you have in the body, in the cardiovascular system, in your joints, is because of arthritis, and in digestive tract. So the less inflammation you have, the better you're go you going to be. And those are anti-inflammatory. It also will increase production of nitric oxide, which will, which will increase again blood flow in, into, the, um, into the area. So a result of increased blood flow, increased production of mucus, okay? also will increase production of hormone called gastrin, gastrin, which will increase production of hydrochloric acid. And things will start moving here through the digestive tract. So you will start to digest food and through digestive tract and out. So you can see both serotonin and melatonin, they act a little bit like a parasympathetic nervous system plus anti-inflammatory. Now let's go back. And uh, continue talking about let's see somehow. Uh, let's talk about supplements of melatonin. So people who will benefit the most from supplements of melatonin, people who have sleep problems, who are stressed and have inflammation. So depression, anxiety, bipolar, IBS, Crohn, ulcerative colitis, gastritis, and acid reflux. Oh, let's to the following. How, how come I can Oops. Let's talk about the side effects. And the side effect of melatonin is vivid dream. I used to give melatonin in high, high doses to patients, like 20 milligrams, and the dreams were so vivid, so they wake up and they actually tired. So if that's the problem, you have to cut down. If you take, let's say, 20 milligrams of melatonin go down on five and see what's the effect. And if five is too much, go down to three. And even better, eat the tryptophan that comes from Turkey. Remember this picture? So uh, uh, Turkey is full of tryptophan. And if you will Turkey, you will have the same effect. You will sleep better and you will have anti-inflammatory effect. Thank you very much, guys. That's it for today. It's Dr. Veronica. If you need a health coach, please let me know. And for speaking engagements, contact me through my website. Otherwise, like and subscribe.